Hello YouTubers and welcome to Connolly Outdoors. This is my first of many to come, I'm hoping, camping videos. I am monetized and I am already a uh, established YouTuber, but I'm a professional drummer. So if you want to check out Tim Connolly drums, you can see my uh, drum YouTube channel. But my passion, other than music and drumming, uh, which is just a hobby, is camping. And uh, so this channel is going to feature all kinds of backwoods, campsites, stealth camping, wild camping, you name it, anything camping. So I'm just about to set up my gear. It's not particularly cold right now, but I suspect it's going to get chilly tonight and overnight and in the morning. So I'm using a hot tent and a hot stove. So let's get started on that. Let's get the setup going. After I uh, set everything up, you know, it's going to take a little while. The tent's brand new. The hot stove is brand new. Everything's brand new. So uh, it's going to take me a little bit to set up. And then after I set it all up, we're going to get something to eat. And then I got a surprise. My son is also up here camping. He doesn't know I'm here. So I'm going to go over to his site and really surprise him. It's going to be a lot of fun. Success. Got to keep the bugs out. Definitely got to keep the got to keep the bugs out. So I got my thermocell here, 15 foot zone of protection. Yep, it is going. I this snow stirred up because uh, chances are it's not going to snow. Forecast, really nice <laughs> this weekend. Might be a little cool, like I said, but we don't need that snow stirred up. I'm the camping version of uh, Mr. Rogers because I had to change out of my sandals because uh, this is not conducive this ter terrain here is not conducive to sandals so put my proper camping shoes on 
Guys, in case you're wondering why my hand's all wrapped up and now I'm wearing a glove, I should have put the glove on sooner actually, because it's um, the work I'm doing is hard on the bandage. I just had three hand surgeries and here I am out camping, still recovering from the surgery, but you gotta get out. I encourage everybody to get outside and camp because it's such an amazing thing. So now I am going to cut this hole here, vent with this bad boy, beautiful mossy oak knife. Comes with this carrying. Which I'm just gonna do a little, really simple cut. It's gonna be hard though with my left hand because of the, uh, oh, it's really sharp, wow. I sharpened it before I came out and I guess that worked because it is really sharp. Wow, I cut really easy, beautiful. Ready to go. <laughs> Wear different gloves. It's a new camping thing. All right, we're gonna get through this. The only thing I don't have yet is an arrestor, spark arrestor for the top. I still got to get that, but uh, this will do for now. It's not going to rain. It's not scheduled to rain or anything, so should be fine. I don't think I need to use these. So it's not that cold. This is Canada. We're used to this kind of cold. Even though it's May, two degrees is chilly for May. But I got a minus 12 sleeping bag here. So <clears throat> should not be a problem. I'm just starting out. That was the other thing I was going to say is Please bear with me. Um, this is my first video. I've watched a ton of these, I'm trying to figure it all out. I thought it would be something that would be fun. And uh, we will see. I actually might put, oh, I forgot one thing. I actually forgot two things. <laughs> my uh, Ecotech Outdoor Ultralight Sleeping Pad which uh, I'm gonna glow up and I'm actually gonna put it inside the uh, <clears throat> sleeping bag because that's what I see a lot of other doing is putting it inside. So let's blow this up. Let's see if I got the right plug. I'm having fun so far, even though the setup is really kind of ruling but it's my first time so 
like I said, this is all new gear. First time using it, and I'm trying to figure it all out. There we go. <clears throat> This. Not really pumped up fast. Let's see here. A little bit more air to it. Yeah, I do. But still, not bad. First time using it. First time using this pump too. So excellent. <clears throat> Be a problem. There we go. Snapped in. Okay, now <clears throat> also gonna blow up my pillow. Whoa! Wow! Man, that blew up super fast. Holy moly! It's, it actually surprised me. And then we're gonna stuff all this inside here. We are gonna be toasty. Oh, I got it upside down. We're in business here, people. Just gotta get it so it all lines up. Okay. There we go. Sleep system all complete. Look at that. Beautiful. Get that stove going soon. This is the uh, sleeping area right here. So that's going to be excellent. Cot, pad, sleeping bag. I am not going to be cold tonight. This is going to be fantastic. Always got to have one of these carbon monoxide detector because you just never know. You got to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Well, I'm getting set up. I got my wood. Oh, I'm tired. I got my bed. Tents all set up. Whew. I'm going to make something to eat. But before I do that, I got to go and uh, do one other really, really cool thing. So stay with me. If you've been here this long, for my first time doing this. It's not my first time camping. I've camped hundreds of times. It's my first time setting up a teepee, doing a hot tent, hot stove, doing it all by myself too. Normally I have uh, my son to help me, but cutting all the wood, it's a lot of hard work, man. And with this hand, it made it difficult, but I'm out here, I'm happy. Stay with me, people. Man, that wasn't easy getting that chair together. It's only my second time putting it together. So once again, guys, bear with me. 
figuring things out. I'm gonna sit down for a minute. Oh my God, I'm tired. Well, hey guys, finally get to take a break. Time for a Steve Wallace step two. Tonight we're having a good old fashioned Coors Light. I only drink light beers. I really don't drink that much. I um, This is the first one I've had in months. But there it is. Not too stealthy, that crack, but <laughs> I'm not stealth camping, so there's people around here. Not too many, luckily, but there's three guys next door to me here. They're young guys. I'm hoping for a really quiet night. This is one of the only times I'm going to be camping not backcountry, not wild camping. This is in an actual campsite, but um, it's a uh, national park, Canadian National Park. And it's in the Bruce Peninsula. It's beautiful up here. Really enjoying it, really enjoying it. So, just gonna relax for a little bit. I worked hard putting all this stuff together. I'm gonna make a meal soon. Just have a little beer, relax, and I'm gonna make a meal, start a fire. The temperature is starting to drop. I'm actually gonna go put a jacket on because it is starting to drop. And I have a feeling it's gonna be cool tonight, so I'll be starting that stove very soon. So cheers, guys. Okay guys, so this is what's on the menu, ready-wise, eat in the pouch, just add water. So we are going to do that. I'm going to set my little stove up here. here even though, obviously I could cook on the uh, fire in there, but I chose not to, just because it's not quite cold enough to, uh, to light that up, I'll be dying in there. <laughs> I'm going to only light it up when I really need to because uh, it is starting to get chilly. I'm actually going to go grab my jacket right now and, and cook this meal up. But um, the black flies are a little vicious around here today. But um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm only going to use that if I need to. Uh, I mean, I set it up and everything, but I am definitely going to do a burn. But I'm going to wait till later till it gets cold. Yeah, the temperature has dropped. So I'm putting on my uh, little bit of a heavier shirt sweater kind of a thing. Canadiana, I am Canadian. And uh, I love the outdoors. I love being out here. Very excited. All right, let's get this started. this moment. Shit. All right, so we got it lit. We had a little explosion there when I was lighting it. I think it's because I tilted it. So we're gonna boil some water here. Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. That was a Steve Wallace moment. But I know that that's what you guys live for. <laughs> it's the things that go wrong. I understand. It's fun, but it's not, fire's not fun. I shouldn't say that. Fire is not fun. So we're gonna let this boil. And we're gonna put it in here. If I'm not mistaken, it's 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes. In my experience, it's always 15, maybe even longer. So, teriyaki chicken. I haven't had this one. I got my trusty spoon here, my long spoon. Uh, we're gonna enjoy this meal. I gotta get my uh, garbage bag out too. I leave it better than when I came, if I can. The old again, Steve Wallace. You know, there's a lot of YouTubers that I watch, Steve Wallace being the main one. There's Sam Bananas, 
small plots with Kevin. Swede in the woods. Blue and Bushman in blue. Uh, there's a few others that I watch as well. Though. Oh, Grizzly Gaz. He's one of my favorites too. I really like him. Englishman in the woods. There's lots of them that I enjoy watching. And uh, they inspired me to get out here and try this myself. <laughs> so here I am. Seeing if... Uh, I mean, like I said, I, I, I've camped, I enjoy camping, but this is my first time filming. It's a lot of work. My beer is long distance away. I gotta go grab it, be right back. I'm gonna have my beer and just relax because like I said earlier, I worked my tail off getting this all together. Splitting wood is an art and uh, I have to learn that skill a little bit better. <laughs> Thing actually works pretty good. It's my first time using this this particular one. I've used these many times, but this is the first time I've used this particular one. It's brand new, so uh, I can't believe how fast. It's, holy, jeez, the water's already boiling. Holy moly, that is super fast. All right, well, let's see if I can. I'll throw that in the garbage in one second. Let's take this. Oh, got to take that out. Can't leave that in there. Also, throw that out. Looks good. Take a look here. Anyways, let's throw some water in it and see how it is. Don't want to put too little or too much. got to get it just right the other thing is when you eat these you got to stir it you cannot just throw the water in and let it go because you'll miss some some won't cook properly and you'll have dry hard parts so I'm gonna stir this up then I'm gonna let it sit obviously then I'm gonna stir it again in a few minutes like about five seven minutes Let's seal this up. Let's put it right here. Let's let that cook 15 minutes. <clears throat> okay guys, well, hopefully this is cooked. I actually uh, forgot to time it. <laughs> But quite a bit of time has gone by. It's really warm and it's still really warm and hot. Uh, probably the longer you let it sit, the better, but let's give it a try. A trusty spoon. <laughs> let's try and see how it is. Looks good. I'll show you what it looks like. Looks good. See the steam coming off it there? It's hot really hot now you're camping with Tim Steve Wallace would be proud of me yeah cook beautiful tastes great excellent mm. Mm. really good hard to eat though with my left hand because of my injured uh, finger I always have to wear this compression thing that pushes the, inf uh, not the infection, but the um, swelling down. It's supposed to push the swelling down. It 
taken forever. My hand is still massively swollen. So being a lefty, this is not easy. I can't eat this with my right hand though. It's just impossible. So I'm just gonna struggle with the left. But it's pretty good. Um, like I said, guys, halfway through, I uh, opened the bag up and stirred it and I found exactly what I mentioned earlier dried parts that hadn't been hit by the water so if you're gonna eat these put the water in stir it up five six seven minutes later stir it again and then when you're done or when it's done stir it again then too because um, you're always gonna get parts that don't cook if you don't do that so a little tip for you I worked pretty hard today so I deserved this meal. Now I was really looking forward to it. They're not cheap, these meals. This is a two servings. Technically two people can eat it, but really when you're working hard, it's a one person meal, at least for a man anyways. You know, God, the bugs here are brutal. Or as grizzly guys would say, the midges, the midges. I, I, I didn't even know what that meant when he first said that, the midget. I'm like, well, what the heck is that, midgets? <laughs> and it's midges and it's English slang for mosquitoes or bugs or whatever black flies in this case anyways guys I'm gonna finish eating this anyways I'm just about to get my fire started now too the uh, the Sun is gonna set very very soon so I don't have too much uh, daylight left so let's get this fire started Well, hopefully that uh, that goes. We'll see what happens. Look at that. It's taken off already. That was quick. Wow, that stuff really works well. Fantastic. I'm gonna shove some little sticks in there in the bottom and stuff. Next. This is what it's all about right here. Taking in a fire on a beautiful night in the woods, camping. It's one of my favorite things to do and that's why I decided to start this channel. And like I said, it's not easy filming everything. Got a lot of respect for <clears throat> Swede in the woods, Grizzly Gaz, Steve Wallace when the weather is bad. I couldn't imagine doing this in the rain heavy snow, you know, hail, crazy weather, wind. I mean, this weather's perfect, but try doing this in that kind of weather. Oh my gosh. It's um, unbelievable. But we got a nice fire here and uh, I'm enjoying myself. Belly's full, enjoying this beer and uh, just gonna relax for a little while. Oh, it's been a it's been a hectic day. It took me about four hours to drive up here almost, so 
a bit of a haul, but uh, it's worth it. Only here one night. Tomorrow I'm going to go visit the grotto with uh, my son Liam and his friend Prince. And then I'm going to drive home. So that'll be it. <laughs> Only one night. But I'm going camping again in two weeks, so hopefully we get another video out. This is, like I said, the first of many to get me started, get my feet wet. I'm having fun. You know, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun documenting it. I've never done this before, like I've said many times. I'm broken record, I'm sorry. But Steve Wallace is the main guy that inspired me the most. Camping with Steve. I love that guy. It's incredible what he does. He's been so successful. Just incredible. So. Uh, well, I am just chilling by the fire. Take it easy, enjoying this fantastic evening. It's really beautiful here. Tomorrow we're going to go and explore the grotto a little bit. Before I leave, and it's back to the grind again. It's nice and peaceful here right now. It's really quiet. I do have neighbors. I'm hoping they stay quiet. They're not here right now, but they're young guys. I'm hoping that uh, they respect the unwritten law of camping that um, be quiet and respect your neighbors. Whenever I go camping, I like it to be quiet. That's why I prefer backwoods camping the best. That's the ultimate camping. Because there's nobody around. <laughs> that is the best. So I'm just going to enjoy this fire. I'm going to be hunkering down soon. Um, it's getting dark now. And uh, I'm going to be hitting the sack pretty soon. Had a nice meal earlier and I feel good. So it's 10.9 degrees inside the tent, which is basically the same as outside because it's been open the whole time. So 10.9 degrees Celsius. Fortunately, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, <laughs> but I'm keeping track of the temperatures <clears throat> in the tent and stuff. I was gonna use the stove, but I'm only gonna use it. I'm actually only gonna use the stove if it gets really cold at this point to be totally honest I'm really not cold at all um, you know 9 10 degrees is warm for us in Canada so I just brought this because I thought it would be fun to set it up I was hoping to use it but I'm just not sure <laughs> if I'm going to be using it or not I don't know probably not because they just think it's going to be too hot in here if I uh, uh, get it up and going. I might start it in the morning, like, you know, if I wake up at 4 in the morning and it's really cold, then it'd be a good time to do it, you know. But I got my sleep system here. This is going to be awesome. I love it in here, man. This is fantastic. I'm so happy that uh, I've come out and done this tonight. My first time. It's my first time in a teepee tent. So, 
I believe it's called Fireside. I think that's what it's called. Let me double check because it's written on the outside of the tent. One sec. It's called Fire Hiking. Sorry. My mistake. Fire Hiking. This is going to be warm, man. I'm telling you. Once I get in here with my body heat and stuff, it's going to be warm. The only thing is, is the it's kind of weird to have a pole so uh, like centered so much. You got to walk around it. You got to be really careful. You don't knock it over and stuff. So anyways, guys, I'm going to start uh, getting ready to hunker down in here. All right, guys, well, I'm in the tent for the night now. Like I said about the fire, we will see if we get this started or not. Most likely it won't happen, but but I did just remember that I do need something to get this started because I think I took the one that was in here out. Yes, I did. So if I need to start this, I gotta go get that started. Be right back. put a um, one of the poles in there and lock yourself in so to speak <laughs> if you really wanted to I don't feel the need to do that but uh, it looks like you can put a pole in there and secure yourself in here <laughs> so I'm in here for the night it's actually pretty warm to be totally honest all right so I'm gonna Hunker down here. I keep saying Steve Wallace's sayings, but hey man, I love Steve. You know, I'm gonna take, don't need this on. <laughs> Especially when the camera's facing me. So I'm <laughs> working around this pole. I'm gonna hit the sack. It's uh, nine degrees in here, but I don't find it cold. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take this off. Because I know that I'll boil. Normally I sleep with no covers on. Hardly ever. No blankets. I just, I don't like them. Sleeping bags are the exception because of the cold. But uh, normally I don't use them. So we will see what happens here. But if anything happens during the evening, I will uh, update you guys. As it stands right now, my neighbors are back. I can hear them. I hope that they are respectful because uh, I am gonna be hitting the sack here. So take my shoes off. Right, guys I'm getting into this thing here let's see how it is just getting into that sleeping bag oh it's pretty comfy wow it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to but I guess I could take my hat off <laughs> I do have a hat to put on if my head gets cold but for the most part I just don't think it's gonna happen I think I'm gonna be plenty warm in here I think I'll be plenty warm in here. Whew, I'm tired though. 
So, guys, I'm shutting it down for the night. And uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. And I'll see you in the morning. Hey, guys, 5.35 in the morning. Woke up because I had to go to the bathroom, but uh, pretty good sleep overall. Not bad at all. Can't complain. Not too much noise. So, I, actually, one of the best sleeps I've ever had, but I'm going to get some more because it's pretty early and there's no need for me to get up this early so i'm gonna go back to sleep for maybe another hour and a half or so so i'll see you guys very shortly for some coffee and breakfast see ya well good morning everyone it is 7 a.m now didn't really get a lot more sleep just a little bit it's it's cold <laughs> It is cold now. I'm not going to I'm not going to put my fire on though. It's not that cold, but it is cold and you know, in the morning when you're spend the night in a warm sleeping bag when you wake up and try to get out of it, it's cold. So anyways, I am going to get up very very shortly and I'm going to get some coffee and some breakfast going. So I'll see you soon. Gonna have coffee and breakfast here very shortly. Just boiling up some water. I got these instant coffees, they're like tea bags. <laughs> really handy. Oh man, that's giving off some nice heat because it's cold in here. Six degrees right now. It's not that cold, but that is giving off some heat. I wasn't expecting that. with an injured hand to open anything. There we go. The injured hand limits me, I'm telling you. Oh, I gotta get the milk. I do need milk for my coffee. I left it in the... Uh... That string's pretty long. I'll let this boil and I'll go get some milk in a minute. Alright, the water is boiling. You're not gonna believe this. This little cooker gave off so much heat the temperature's risen two degrees in here <laughs> that's how much heat this thing gave off i need to get some more water here momentarily to make my breakfast but i'm just going to turn that off for a moment <laughs> this thing is powerful now you just uh steep it like you would a, a tea Except I gotta get it in there. Um, what can I use? Ah, I use my. <laughs> Since I didn't use the fire, I'll just shove that in there. There we go. There we go. Whoa. All right. Well, I'm just gonna let that brew up. I'm gonna go get some milk. <sighs> Yeah, it's almost nine degrees in here. Holy moly, that thing rose the temperature by three degrees. Jeez, that's incredible. That thing really throws some heat. Boil up a little bit more water for breakfast. With that door open, the temperature is starting to drop again. So I'm gonna turn this back on for some heat. <laughs> Some milk here. Let's turn this off. There we go. That was the first try. Perfect. 
So I got some milk in here for my coffee. Should stay cold, I'm sure. I had it in a cooler. And I put a tiny bit of ice in it, so I'm sure it's... Oh yeah, it's cold. It's fine. Just pour that right in there. Perfect. Yeah, that's good. I think I came over prepared this time. It was my first time out, as I mentioned. I brought two heaters and <laughs> so much stuff. I, I over prepared, but it's a learning curve. I'll definitely, I definitely know not to bring so much stuff next time, but I wanted to be prepared. Plus, I got so much stuff new fun stuff that I wanted to try that's a, that's part of it too oh yeah that's good needs to steep a little bit more but not a bad coffee at all and there's a lid actually put that on so that it can stay hot yeah there we go now we're in business people now you're camping with Tim. <laughs> always <laughs> spilling it. Always wanted to say that because it was always now you're camping with Steve. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> I'm not a Steve wannabe. I can't do what Steve does. I he's a full-time YouTuber. How? week in week out doing this thing but I, I can't do that I'm just doing this for fun and documenting it for the first time oh it's part of the bag I, I could see some shiny this is breakfast so it's strawberry granola crunch believe it or not you just add water. It says add water, stir until uh, three quarters cup of water, stir until powder dissolves, enjoy. So this, you don't even really cook this, you just sort of put the water in and go from there. So let's do it. <clears throat> I just don't wanna burn myself with scalding hot water. Rusty spoon out here. Stir this up. I probably put too much water in. That's okay. It's cereal, so it's not like it's. I did put too much water in. That's okay. It'll dissolve as long as you stir it, like I mentioned yesterday. for a bit. We'll stir it again in a few minutes and see what this is like. Never had the, uh, the breakfast ready wise. The cereal. We'll see what it's like. Guys, I'm going to eat my breakfast in a minute. But I went and got a little buddy here because it is cold. I just don't feel like starting that. <laughs> A lot of work to tear it down even though i i do want to really use it there's no point it's not that cold i just need a little bit of heat just to give me a little relief my hands are starting to get cold and stuff so i'm going to use the buddy heater little buddy heater we're going to use this any of ventilation in here will be fine i'm going to move this out of the way eat my breakfast in a moment. Uh, all right, let's get this started here. 
takes a minute for it to ignite. The flame is out. I can see the flame. Yep. There we go. Nice. So that's a nice little heater right there. That'll give off a little bit of nice heat. Yeah, it's already starting. That's giving off some nice little bit of heat there. Yep. All right, let's try this. It's hot. Whoa, sprayed myself in the face with water. <laughs> My neighbors are up early and they're screaming their heads off over there. Do they not realize it's freaking 7.15 in the morning and not everybody's up? They're screaming their heads off over there. I don't know if you can hear it. Jesus. Ah, people. Camping is awesome. People, not so much. Mm. This, on the other hand. Oh, it's really good. I'm shocked. This is really good. It's like, um, kind of like oatmeal, but much more flavorful. Mmm. Wow. That's good. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. That heat is nice. The temperature was, it actually went down to five degrees overnight Celsius. It was supposed to go down to two. So it didn't go down as cold as what we thought, or what I thought. Um, I thought about bringing that heater in here too, but then I thought, ah, I don't like to run it all night and I thought this morning it's pretty cool in here just to take the chill out of the air I thought I'd turn it on and it feels good I don't know if you can hear those knuckleheads over there God, so annoying Seven in the morning, just trying to relax, film my video, have my breakfast, have a coffee, and these knuckleheads are screaming up a storm. What would Steve do? Mm, nothing. He'd do exactly what I'm doing. That's what Steve would do. Eat his breakfast and ignore them. That's what Steve would do. That's really good. Man, that thing's throwing some heat now. Great. This thing is so, so handy for small tent situations and when it's not bitterly cold. You know, I brought the, the oven, so to speak, and uh, hot tent heater. I think it might have been overkill. <laughs> <laughs> but I was excited to use it. What can I say? It's like a new toy, right? All I really needed was this, which I'm using now, and it's fine. All right, so I'm going to finish my breakfast. Just try and stay warm for a little while, guys. And then I got to start, uh, I got to pack up because I'm going to meet with my son and uh, go to the grotto. But I'm in no hurry. I'm taking my time. Yeah, you can see my breath a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely see my breath to give you an indicator of how it's chilly in here. But this heater is helping. All right, I'm gonna actually close this door and see if it warms up in here. All right, oh, I got the door closed. I got this heater going. Holy moly, it's warm. Ooh, this thing works good. I actually don't want to point it directly at me. Ooh, it works good. A little buddy heater. Yeah. Enjoying my breakfast. 
Oh, it's warming up in here now. I can feel it. That's good. Taking that uh, chill out of the air. This is pretty good. These meals are really good, like um, filling. They're really well made. I can't say anything bad about these Ready Wise meals. I got it at Canadian Tire. And it's um, very hearty, very filling. I can't believe it. Really nice. It's hard to eat with my injured hand though. Well, just chilling out in the tent for a little while, warming up. And uh, like I said, I gotta meet up with my son, so I'll be tearing down soon. Ah, it's warm in here now, holy moly. The only thing about this little buddy heater though, it's, um, it's a great little heater. Of course, I got my carbon monoxide detector because you're technically not supposed to use these in enclosed spaces, but all the videos I watched, plus the test, personal testing that I did on it, the carbon monoxide detector never went off and um, no one's ever had a problem. It's also got a shut off, automatic shut off if it tilts. So that's good. <clears throat> but this thing's given off some heat. Man, those guys are noisy over there. Man, man, that's why I'm looking forward to my next camp. Actually, the not my next camp. I'm going again in two weeks. The camp after that, I think I'm going backwards. There'll be nobody. I won't be hearing any crazy sounds. sitting outside the tent now because it's got it got, actually got too hot in there with this thing <laughs> it's i mean it's chilly outside but man that thing really heated up in there so i decided to come out here it's a beautiful day not a cloud in the sky sun's up i can feel the heat from that perfect yeah, that thing's great. Excellent. Just gonna relax for a little bit. This is what it's all about. I'm uh, gonna start packing up shortly, but like I said, there's no hurry. Well, guys. I'm gonna pack up now. So this is the least exciting part of the tear down. So I'm just gonna literally speed through this because <laughs> it's not exactly exciting doing a tear down. So anyways, I'm gonna tear it all down. I'll get back to you soon. Well guys, it took a while, but I'm all packed up. Everything is put away in the car. I just gotta brush my tooth and get rid of the garbage. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, the hard work is the setup and the teardown. I enjoy the setup. Teardown, not so much, and I'll tell you why. Camping product companies, they make the bags so damn small. <laughs> I mean, it looks perfect when you get it and you take it out try getting it back in it's never going to be the same as the way that <clears throat> it came 
the bag always seems too small. <laughs> and I know that every camper and anyone that's tried to get the sleeping bag back in the bag, the tent back in the bag, whatever, whatever it is, it's always a pain. It took me so long just to get the tent, or sorry, the sleeping bag back in the bag. But anyway, I did it. It's in, they just don't make it easy. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sad to leave. I had such a great time. My first camping video. This is a big deal for me. Thanks very much for watching. I'm gonna come out with more. Like I said at the very beginning, check out my other channel, Tim Connolly Drums. That's what I do professionally. I'm a drummer and amateur camper. So thanks very much for watching, for watching. And check back soon. I'm gonna be out on the camp in another couple of weeks. See ya. Bye-bye.